Hello, my name is Alice Pagano and I am attending a PhD course at the University of Genoa, Italy. This ILSEP project video will give you an overview on the PERI process of interlingual respeaking. We continue to build on what you have learned in the previous modules, that is, the modules on subtitling, on simultaneous interpreting, and on intralingual respeaking. Let's start again by focusing on Franz Bochacker and Aline Remmel's model of the different stages of the respeaking process as a whole. We will now be focusing on the peri process stage. As said before, also during the peri process of respeaking, the socio-psychological skills of having interpersonal relationships in professional settings and cooperating are very important. The peri process of respeaking is indeed developed through different multitasking stages that occur simultaneously and are to be carried out with great cooperation between the respeaker or respeakers and, if any, the editor editors in teamwork. The skills needed in the peri process of respeaking are listening and comprehension, strategic reformulation, dictation and monitoring, coordination and control. During the peri process stage, the respeaker listens to the source in language A and comprehends the meaning. Then, the respeaker reformulates the source and translates it in language B. The respeaker respeaks and dictates the translated content, monitoring the output and correcting the written product on the screen. All this, of course, maintaining great coordination and control in order to carry out all the above-mentioned tasks. Starting from here, some task-specific skills have been identified by Dosun, and such task-specific skills are multitasking, language, source language comprehension, live translation, target language expression, dictation and punctuation, error correction, addition, and short-term memory. Let's take a closer look. In the first stage, the re-speaker receives the audio input of the source text in one language, language A, comprehends it and reformulates it. At a cognitive level, the re-speaker translates the input in language A into an output in language B, just as we have seen for simultaneous interpreters, while still listening to the next audio input. As we have seen in previous modules, split attention is of great importance in the peri process as re-speakers need to be able to keep listening to new information while performing other tasks, such as translating the message into another language and dictating it to the speech recognition software. At this point, the re-speaker dictates the translated information and the punctuation in the speech recognition system that turns the speech into written text displayed on the screen. This is where audiovisual monitoring takes place as the re-speaker reviews and corrects the text on screen, editing if necessary. The following material in this unit will show you, among other things, how to deal with shift in languages with different speeds and rates of speech and how to edit and make corrections through guided exercises. 
Thank you very much for your attention.